Hi good people from all around the world, this is Nick and welcome back to Calamity Mod Rogue Revengeance. Last episode we managed to beat uh, the giant clam a couple times, we got the mollusk armor and we beat the destroyer. And indeed we do have life root. I've not, and I've also found two different, um, two different plantera bulbs. There was one up here I boarded with torches and there was one down here as well. So we have two, at least two shots. Um, at fighting Plantera. Um, let's see what we can do with the life fruit. There's these. Definitely need it for those. Um, but we need first we need it to extend our own. There we go by five. So there's the other Plantera bulb. I should probably border that too with torches as a backup. So I have two two chances. I also got Beetlejuice. Do not say it three times, whatever you do. Which will help with the honeydew. I don't know about the rest of the ingredients for it, but at least we got the honeydew, if nothing else. And we might as well put the Hornet banner here. That's going to help later on. We got a tortoise. A tortoise. I like it when I say the tortoise. Okay, are there any life fruits down here? Wait. Oh, there's one. Yes. What? Get, what is attacking me? Freaking bees, man. Even the bees can move you. Yay! more of a shot of surviving now than we did before. What is attacking me? Jesus. I know it sounds comical for me to say that, but there's sometimes I really don't know what's attacking me. There's another one. So much easier when you have the freaking Blunker Chaos Amulet thing. So much easier. I might wait. That way I don't want to clear my inventory again. I might wait till I get two at least. There's another one right there. Yes. Wow, we got like three now. There's one right there as well. How many have we got now? Five. All right, we got quite a bit more than we had before. There's one over there. So cool that this does frost damage too. Come on. Come on. Oh, I thought that was there's one right down there though. Oh, a mimic. I remember I wanted to take one day. I might need this later on, so it'll be worth getting. Let's see. Not the dual hook. We don't really need that. Jesus. Keep an angry trap. 
sapper. Finally, I was able to get that star cloak, man, but it took me, took me long enough to get it. Right, get to that life group now. There we go, there's another one. There's one in the corner there. So freaking useful, this Blunker Potion. I used to underestimate how useful this Blunker Potion was. For the longest time until I played master mode, and then that was when I realized how darn useful it is. There's one right over there. I almost missed that one. There's another one. Yes. All right. Five more. We got over. We just need eight more, I think. Oh, there's another one. Gee, there's so freaking many of them. You only need to beat it the one time, and then you can buy the summons. I think, I can't remember which mod it is, but one of them has a life fruit lantern. Oh, that's pretty cool. There's like a geyser over here or something that keeps hitting the enemies. That is so cool. Oh my god. And there's a life fruit over there. We gotta be careful not to get hit ourselves. That'd be awesome if you... If I can find some of those and then... And then, uh, cop copy them and then just put loads of them. Uh, it seems like they're gone now. Maybe there's some kind of a trap. Yeah, it's a trap. Yeah, you have to step on a switch or something. Because watch, if I hold the statue... Oh, I guess not. I don't know. I don't know then, guys. Almost there. I'll wait for some more to grow. We're, we almost completed the whole thing. I'm gonna put the staff of regrowth back in here before I forget it saved me some space and put this here. Accessories, there we go. All right, on to the sulfurous sea we go. We can beat the aquatic scourge. <sighs> I bet if we were to go into the abyss, I bet you we'd last a lot longer. Those freaking eels would just get wrecked by my weapons now. Or at least a lot faster than the Enchanted Axe. The only one, the two advantages the Enchanted Axe have, I think, is it was auto fire and it could go through walls. But aside from that, the Blazing Star is better in every other way. I don't know if we got Hallowed Bars from beating the, uh, I think Hallowed Ore spawns after you beat the Mechanical Boss. 
I think that might be how it works because I, mean, I don't remember getting hallowed bars like you usually do after you beat the destroyer. I don't know, guys. It's strange. Come on. I'm almost there. On the bright side, because it's the serpent and we have infinite piercing, we should do pretty good. Unless there's something I'm not accounting for. Get wrecked. Alright, the tricky part though is that it's much like the giant clam, you have to wait for it to spawn. You can't just summon it. At least as far as I remember. I'm gonna put some freaking put some campfires down here just in case and some heart lanterns too set up an arena kind of at least kind of an arena here let me put down the heart lantern for the love of god let me build my furniture I still have this on. But I move faster, I think, in water, though, so that's good at least. The funny thing is, you'd think I'd be able to breathe better, but not the case. I'll be back when it comes up. I kid you not, guys. I spent like 10 minutes waiting for the aquatic skirts to show up. And then I looked on the wiki. And then I re found out there was a way to summon it. And ironically, it does look like sushi. Which makes me hungry. And so we're going to fight it now. We're gonna fight the aquatic scourge, but I gotta switch back to the mollusk armor. The defense, it's worth it, I think. There we go. Where did you go? All right. to make an arena. I might have to. I don't know. I don't know, guys. Jesus, it's moving fast. For the love of God, let me just move. Ah! got our nice sky house right in the ocean which I thought was kind of po uh, poetic because there's some days when you're at the beach and then you can't tell when the sky and the ocean the sky starts and the ocean ends so I figured it's ocean house in this or sky house in the ocean so we've got our setup here now 
I should have put more platforms down here so I could run across through there. But at any rate, Freaking... Ah. That was actually pretty cool up until I got damaged a lot. Alright. Even faster. Even faster this time. But! At least I don't have to go all the way across the map to get back. At least there's that. Now the only thing is waiting until my health goes up here. <sighs> Alright, sorry about that, guys. Back again. <sighs> Where is it? Oh, there it is. Yay! better feeling about this one. I might... Might do better this time. I don't know. Yeah. Nope. Don't do that. Ah! I swear. I swear. I swear. I swear. I swear. Huh? No! Mm. I'm running. I'm running away. Got down to halfway almost here. Heal for the love of God. No! <sighs> this playthrough is so frustrating. Now I have to wait for my health to get back up again. I might switch out my armor. Because I'd be different if I was in water the whole time. But might be better with this armor. Oh, I also have my Chaos Amulet on. That would help. <laughs> Alright. This should be better. This should be better this time. Where's the honey box? Over here. Alrighty. Oh, freaking... Gator is doing despair. Aw, during the... There we go. I should do a little bit better this time. That vertical way might be a good way to do it. Go about it here. Yeah, that is awesome. Alright. Doing better. I got more maneuverability here. <laughs> Goes vertically down. Ah, oh, Jesus! No! No, 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 no. Went vertically up that time. better this time but I can still I can still die or 
course, that's always an option. For the love of God, I hate those things. It's like the freaking slime guy. I'm trying to get away! It's like it's trying to purposely piss me off. It's trying to do it on purpose. It's been coded to piss me off on purpose. Probably not. It's probably really bad, but it seems like that. Oh, a turtle shell. Squirrel. Um... Oh, shoot. All right, I just need th three more of those. Goose rabbit, goose rabbit. Here we go. Come on, let the honey heal me faster, please. Faster, honey, faster. For the love of God, faster, honey, feel me. <laughs> and I could, of course, get more life fruits See, There's more stuff I can do. There is. Alrighty. Once more again. Once more again. Come near me, Nasher. can set me for the last time Asher How did that do that much damage? Because the game hates you, that's why. The game hates you. That's why. That's why. That's why. <laughs> Frustration. Wonderful day. Wonderful day. We oh! Hello, sir. You wanna die to me the fifth time in a row, huh? You wanna die? You, you, I bet you would. You, you like sushi so much now? That's the voice I imagine it having. Come here, let's fight again. I will wreck you. You know, I will wreck you. I will. I've done it before, I can do it again. It's not. What? Are you attacking me already? <sighs> Having to wait to heal up again. This episode might end up with me just not being able to beat it. Might have to get more life fruit or a better weapon. <sighs> I might have to beat the mechanical boss. I don't know, guys. I'm gonna give it one, maybe two more tries, two tops, and then the episode's over. Either way, whether I win or lose, it's over. Love of God, faster. I'm gonna have the nurse over here. Don't you dare. I see you there, Nasher. Nope. Already messing up. I'm already messing up. Barely begun. I'm already messing up. Don't you do your spinning deal of death. I'm going to 
spin me right right around like a record, baby. I hate men! Right. Like I said before, you're about to make look for those juice. Right as you're about to do your attack, and then it moves right last second before you can say, I don't know what you would say except a bunch of curse words. Nope. So it went sideways. I thought you were going vertical on me. I thought you were going vertical. Like that. Nope. I gotta avoid those. I gotta avoid those. I know I do. I know I do. I know I do. Nope. I was trying to go left to avoid it. Let me heal. Let me heal. Thank you. What, not, not do your spinny wheel of death despair thing. Don't you dare. Don't you dare beat me. I'm too close this time. I'm too close this time. Ah! That's right! Sushi for me! Sushi! Sushi! Dip it in the ginger and the wasabi and the... Yes! I make it acid rain in this club. Right? I beat your daddy. Or your mom. I don't know which, but I beat him. I beat your parents. I beat the desert and the aquatic one. How you like me now? <sighs> Thank God it's over. Thank God. But the relief is very momentary. Because I know, I know for a fact, I know for a fact, because it's been proven before, the relief is temporary. Because it's only so long, but the, the fun in between, the frustration. I hope, I hope you guys have found some kind of entertain, entertainment and humor in my frustration and my pain. I hope you have. Corrosive metal, I want you. Yes. Corroded fossil, not corrosive metal. Can't even read properly, I'm so excited. At least that was my excuse in school. Right? I can make the acid rain barrel. I just need a contaminated vial. A contaminated vial. Sounds pleasant. Sounds so like something you'd want to own. Grab it now at your local store. Where are you, contaminated bile? Contaminated bile! Cragmeyer Ma. Meyer. Or Crag Ma Meyer. I mixed it up. Where are you? Show up on the map? No, you do not. Of course you don't. Of course, that would be too easy. Oh, there you are! You show. You have a beacon of light. You show with a beacon. Sir. You shall be destroyed accordingly. I shall have my contaminated bile. Oh, spit fuel container. I do not know what to throw away. Where is my contaminated bile? It's a sentence I thought I would never say.
Where is my bile, sir? I walked a mile to get to the bar. Pirate map. Oh, yeah. Might actually be worth keeping, but... Darn it. Oh, I need to throw away the mushroom. That's simple. What? I threw away the mushroom. Give me my map. Third sentence, as I thought I would never say. Up out of the slain. Come on. Oh, wow. That is cool sprite work and effect on that. I like that. It's auto fire. How's that going for it? Damage is that bow, though. Hmm. What can I get rid of? I don't really need this glow stick or the vertebrae. Or the slag. Oh. I will be back when I find out about the contaminated vial. I will be right back. I just looked it up on the wiki, guys. It is not a drop, it is a craftable. So, I just need uh, enough sulfurous scales, which I'm pretty sure I've got, but I think a lot of them drop down here, I think. At least probably a lot of them, I think, did. At any rate, we're almost 100% through the... Ah, for the wall. Uh, at least I'm at the house. Once I'm done with this, I'll set these... Well, at least I'm over here. I'm almost at 100% here. Pretty soon it will be. Eroded fossil, yes. And then we'll be able to check out our loot and our prizes and everything here. Jesus, these things are quick. Another pirate map. Oh, I was almost 100%. Ah, uh, Skyfin Bombers. Where's the sky Where, what happened to the Skyfin Bombers? Where's that? I don't see it anywhere. Oh, there it is. 74 rogue damage. Launches the Skyfin when it comes in. Blow up. Oh, shoot. What are you? Oh, you're a crabby crabby. Roded fossil. Well, I hope I have enough to make the contaminated vial. You need ten? You need ten. And I've got nine. Perfect. Hopefully there'll be one down here somewhere. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Slithering Eels, my favorite fat restaurant. Alright, now we can get the upgrade. Oh, forgot to despawn. Now we can get the upgrade to the, uh, the acid, bar uh, to the barrel, I think. Let's see if there's an upgrade to this, I wonder. Okay. Make sure, yep, still recording. Sorry, guys. Back. So that thing is kind of cool, but I'm going to put it in here. Is this use? It's probably just for... Yeah, that's a minion one. I don't... Spent fuel container. Oh, uh, yep. Totality breakers. That's going to be cool later. I'm going to put that in there, too. There we go. This I'll put down here. Along with this. And this as well. All right. Oh. There we go. Mm. 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 Okay. All right.
right, now we get to get our barrel. There we go. 65 rogue damage. I mean, it, it, it seems to do good. I mean, the, the spread, a widespread effect is useful, and it's freaking fast, too. I wonder what the stealth strike does. It makes it rain on collision, huh? I don't know if this is any better than the Blazing Star, but I do know it's an upgrade. I don't know if there's another upgrade to that. Nope. Okay, let's see if we got anything good from the from the treasure bag here. Oh, that's cool. Aquatic emblem. But it's a small amount of light in the abyss. I don't know. I'm gonna. I still like the, uh, the arctic diving gear and the upgrades to that. But just in case, just in case, I'll keep it in here. You never know. Bleach angling kit. Aeronautical. No. Deep sea staff. Also not useful for this playthrough. It's useful overall, just not for this playthrough. Forgot to put this up here and along with that as well. All right, what else we got here? All right, what can we do with corroded fossil? Because we got loads of those. Bone breaker, that could be useful. It sticks to enemies before bursting into shrapnel. And all we have to do is make bone javelin. Okay, so how do you make bone javelin? Oh, you have to, pro probably a drop off of someone. Something. Actually, I think you make it from the fossils, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, I typed in M instead of E. Instead of N, I mean. There we go. Oh yeah, sturdy fossil. So we can make that very, very easily, actually. Oh, he's probably the aquatic scourge summon the seafood. Man, this invisibility thing can be tricky sometimes. There we go. But there might be other stuff too. Well, there's the caustic here. Not really any new rogue ones. Oh, there's new rogue ones from the... Oh, there's new ones from the rogue NPC, so let's see. Oh, freaking... Get out of the way! Thank you. Latcher Sticks to enemies on hit and detonates after three seconds. Breaks upon hitting blocks. Oh. Bouncing Betty. That's a grenade which bounces. Huh. Oh. Well, might be worth a try here. But I'm gonna get that uh, bone javelin first. Man, they travel super quick. I know that for sure. I still don't know if this is better than what I had before, but seems to work good in a tight space, though. Man, of course. I think the Blazing Star is still better, but at least this is auto fire. It has that going for it, if nothing else. One more to go. Oh, 
Alright, that should be enough for the bone javelin. It should be. Should be and is can be two different things, but let's see. Where are the There we go. Almost there. Okay, let's see what I can make now. I should be able to make it now. Let's see. There it is. Bone breaker. Yay. It reminds me of daybreak. The description of it reminds me of Daybreak, yeah. Where is it? Here we go, let's see. Hmm. That's going to be tough to figure out now. I still think Blazing Star is the best so far, but... You can try it out against Krabulon. Lord knows you love them. You guys probably love that by now. Everyone is my test dummy, as you guys know. The Blazing Star with its stealth strike just took it out in one hit, so. We could do a stealth strike test against it. If it takes out one hit, we know it's better than. That might not be the best way to go about it. Let's see. This one's kind of alright. Yeah, I mean it did a decent job. It's not as good as the Blazing Star, but let's let's check out the uh, freaking things are still trying to go after me. We will avenge you, Father. Still strike with the acid barrel. Even this one's not as good as the Blazing Star. Maybe if I aim them up directly up, so they stay in one spot, kind of, we'll continuously hit them. Yeah, and even then, the Blazing Star is still better. <sighs> kind of disappointing. But this is required for Scourge of the Cosmos, so that's not a waste. The Acid Rain Barrel is kind of a disappointment. Especially since it doesn't have an upgrade after that, so... I'll show you the Blazing Star with the Stealth Strike here. Yeah, one hit. It's still, after all this time, it's still the best one that I've, I've come across. So, at any rate, thank you guys so much for watching. <laughs> Uh, I hope you found some humor in my frustration. And the next episode, I don't know if we'll take on Skeletron Prime or if we'll take on Brimstone Elemental or or we'll take on freaking Neverending Story over here. Ha! Huh? Need that for the wings, anyways. Dallas wings. Whoa, soaring potion. Increases flight time and horizontal speed by 10. With melee stats. So, where is the D Dallas wings on here? It'll probably be this. Oh, the starlight wings are the. Yeah. Soul flight, you need 20, you get 12. Okay. I'll have to defeat another one. Hope you guys have a good day. Bye, everybody.